The fire started at around midday, spreading quickly to the makeshift buildings where soft drinks and chicken feed were sold. It did not spare welding and fabrication workshops. The residents said the area was fumigated yesterday and suspect the liquid use was flammable and could have sparked off the fire. The police fire brigade had a hard time trying to access the area as it has no defined roads. But uh, nevertheless, we have uh, tried as much as possible to stop it from spreading further uh, than expected. The police say they are investigating the cause of the fire. It's unknown, uh, but uh, when it is known, we shall be letting you know. And also to ascertain the number of uh, the injured and those that uh, could have uh, probably uh, lost their lives in this. The area suffered another fire in November last year, burning timber workshops and several houses. Raymond Tamale, NTV.